This will be for the con exercise, zeros of polynomials with factoring. Okay, I just wanna say you need to know factoring by grouping in order to do this exercise. So I would do that one first if you haven't already. So they want us to find the zeros of this polynomial here. And basically what that means for the zeros is when you set uh, y equal to zero. Okay, the zeros are basically the x-intercepts. So in order to solve this, we're gonna set y equal to zero. This p of x here is basically y equals. So we're gonna set this whole thing equal to zero and solve for x. So we're gonna get, set this whole thing equal to zero. All right, that's the same thing as setting y equal to zero. And we need to factor this here in order to solve for x. All right. So this here is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. All right, we're gonna use factoring by grouping. And what we need to do here is find a pair of numbers that multiply to a times c and add to b. So we wanna start by doing a times c first. Okay, a is two and c is negative nine. So that's gonna equal negative 18. So we wanna write out the factors for negative 18. Okay, we know it is gonna be nine times I'll say negative nine times positive two or positive nine times negative two or six times negative three or negative six times positive three. And we wanna stop when we find a pair that adds to B. Okay, that's positive three. So we can see that six and negative three add to positive three, all right? So let's see. We have our x plus two. All right, and for this here, you wanna rewrite using these two numbers to replace the middle term. So you wanna use this to replace three x. All right, so we have 2x squared. And instead of 3x, we're going to use 6x and negative 3x. So plus 6x minus 3x, and we still have negative 9 at the end. Okay, so the 3x was replaced with 6x minus 3x. All right, so we have x plus two, and on the this term here, we're gonna do factoring by grouping. All right, so what I'm gonna do is group the first two terms and the last two terms. Okay, notice I enclosed the negative sign in there. I'm gonna keep a plus sign in the middle. That doesn't change anything because plus negative 3x is the same as minus 3x. All right, so you wanna group two binomials here. Okay, so factor each one individually from the first one between two and six, the greatest common factor is two. And between the x's, you choose the one with the lowest exponent. This is x squared and this is x. So this is just gonna be an x. Okay, 2x squared divided by 2x is just x. It's positive 6x divided by 2x is positive 3. And we still have the plus sign here. Okay, between negative 3x and negative 9, we can factor out a negative 3. Okay, negative 3x divided by negative 3 is x. Negative nine divided by negative three is positive three. 
So this whole thing factors into this right here. All right. We still have x plus 2. And we have matching um, binomials here. We have x plus 3 and x plus 3. So I'm going to write x plus 3. And 2x is multiplied by x plus 3. And negative 3 is multiplied by x plus 3. So the next binomial is going to be 2x minus 3. And if you recall, we were setting this whole thing equal to zero. All right. So anything multiplied by zero equals zero. So any one of these terms can equal zero. So I'm just going to label them one, two, and three. All right. For part one, if you do x plus two equals zero, subtracting two from both sides, x is going to equal negative 2. For part 2, x plus 3 equals 0. Subtracting 3 from both sides, x equals negative 3. And finally, part 3, 2x minus 3 equals 0. Adding 3 to both sides, that's going to be 2x equals 3. And dividing both sides by 2, x equals 3 halves. Okay, and it might be easier as a decimal or a mixed number. 3, uh, three halves is the same as 1.5. So those are the three zeros, negative 2, negative 3, and 1.5. We're going to plot those on the x-axis. So they want us to plot the x-intercepts of the polynomial. You scroll down to the x-axis here. We said negative 2, negative 3, and 1.5. That's 1 and a half between 1 and 2. Okay, the reason we're doing that is because if you drew a line for y equals 0, that would be on the x-axis. Okay, that's the graph of y equals 0. And if you remember, we set the whole equation equal to 0. So that's the same as y equals 0. So you can just plot your points and that's it. So these are uh, all the same instructions. They're not going to be all the same methods. But again, they want us to find the zeros here. All right, so p of x is basically the same as y. So... I'm going to set this whole thing equal to 0. It's the same as y equals 0. Now, we can factor this here, but we don't really need to, so I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so that's going to be x squared minus 1. And factoring this here, when the leading coefficient is 1, it's pretty easy to factor. You want two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 5. All right, so if I wrote out the factors for 6, we have 2 times 3 and negative 2 times negative 3. Okay, and we want a pair that adds to negative 5. That's right here. So the negative 2 and the negative 3 are going to replace negative 5. All right, so we have x squared. I'm sorry, this is not factoring by grouping, so yeah. We have, um, forget about what I said here. In order to get x squared, you start each binomial with an x, right? x times x will give you x squared. And the negative 2 and the negative 3 just go in the parentheses, negative 2 and negative 3. All right? And remember, we're setting this whole thing equal to 0. All right, so I'm just going to set this equal to zero. Anything multiplied times zero equals zero. So this equals zero, this equals zero, this equals zero individually. I'm going to label them one, two, and three. And set them equal to zero individually. 
Okay, for part one, x squared minus one equals zero. And adding one to both sides, the ones cancel. Bring down your x squared and that equals positive one. Taking the square root of both sides, x is going to equal plus or minus one. Okay, remember when you do square root of both sides, you need to do plus minus. You see, if you plug in a negative one here, it's gonna be negative one squared, so it makes it positive anyway. All right, two and three are easy. X minus two equals zero. Adding two to both sides, really you can just do this in your head. The twos cancel and X is gonna equal positive two. And part three, x minus three equals zero. Add three to both sides, and x is gonna be positive three. All right, so we actually have four zeros since this is plus or minus one. x is gonna equal positive one and also negative one. Okay, so we're gonna plot one positive one two three and also negative one so just scroll down to the graph okay and positive one and then positive two just click on it left click on it positive three left click on it and go to negative one and left click on it okay notice all the points are on the x-axis